Hi ladies, this is Sharon from Sharon's Nursery and I'm coming on to do uh, a tag that Fun and Frolic Doll Haven put out and it's called All About the Dolls. And I will try to go around the room and show some of my dolls that I dressed a little bit differently today. Um, so here we go. The first question is, do you like to do a box opening or a blanket reveal? I like to do a box opening. Um, I think it builds up the excitement. Um, I've only had a couple box openings since starting YouTube. Most, almost all the rest of my box openings were before I had a YouTube uh, channel. Um, in maybe two months, May and I will have a new uh, toddler coming in to the nursery and um, it will be a blanket reveal um, because it would be just too hard for me to try to undo the plastic and undo the blanket. But what we're going to do is we are going to have my husband um, take the doll out of the box, unwrap her, put her in a baby seat and cover her with a blanket. And then May and I May will do the blanket reveal um, herself. And we're going to do that in conjunction with um, a tea party with some friends and make it really special as both May and the doll will have on um, really pretty dresses. Um, the second question is, do you like to do the goodies or the doll first? I like to do the goodies first because it, um, prolongs the excitement of opening up the doll. Um, number three, do you look up videos of a certain sculpt when you're waiting for a doll? Um, I would say um, when I was looking for a Cami Rose, this is her, um, if I saw somebody's video that had her in it, I would look at it or look at different cami roses on eBay and um, so that's my answer to that question and let's see oh um, going back to number three sorry um, the, the toddler that May and I are getting I have tried to find this toddler on YouTube but I have not found her um, and um, we're trying to keep the name of the, the sculpt um, is until um, not I'm trying not to tell anybody what the sculpt is until we do the blanket reveal so that's all I'm gonna say because if I say too much I might reveal the top the sculpt um, number four, do I prefer to do face-to-face -face or social media? Well, I think I have a friend, um, at church that collects dolls. So sometimes we get together and then there's somebody that lives near me that has dolls. But I think our lives are so busy that it's hard to get together. So, um, I think for me right now, the social media, um, will have to do. There's a lot of you that I wish I lived near so that I can come visit, but that's, you just have to do what you gotta do. Um, do I prefer awake or asleep babies? I think I like asleep ones. Um, seems like it's easier to lay them, you know, to lay them down than to lay down uh, a baby with their eyes open, but, um, I think I'm grow the open-eyed ones are growing on me, and I have my two girls dressed in the same dress right there. Um, do I prefer smiling or not? Um, a little bit of a smile, not a big, huge, you know, smile. Um, the next one is, do I what do I look for? Full legs, full arms, uh, body, um, belly plate. 
when I first started getting dolls, I was just so fascinated. I just started buying them. And a lot of my dolls have got full legs, but not full arms. And I really wish um, that they had full arms. So I would say I'd full arms and full legs. Cammy Rose is the only doll that I have that has full arms and full legs. And I do have her belly plate on because um, it, some of the clothes are still kind of too big for her. So it ends up showing her cloth body. So that's why I have her belly plate on. Now, Ethan here that you see um, and Miss Kylie over here, um, I've had them for... I think I've had Kylie for 13 years, I'm guessing. And both Kylie and Ethan, the only part of their body that's cloth is um, their upper chest and their upper back. And then there's some cloth on their, their arms. But from the waist down, they're silicone. Then her arms are silicone in her head. And um, the same thing for... Ethan. Um, if I could buy a full body silicone, full body baby, I would certainly do that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, do I mind telling folks about my doll hobby? I've told people. Um, if I think that they're interested, I'll tell them. Um, sometimes if I have a feeling that they're not going to, and I know sometimes lately I sort of chicken out and what I end up telling people is um, that I have a YouTube channel with May and we do the dolls together. And it's not really because I'm embarrassed by having dolls. Um, I think it's just kind of special to have May um, doing this with me. And we're going to try to do it as much as we can this summer because in the fall she's going to school and um, she'll be going to the kindergarten all day. And I think the older she gets, the less maybe she'll be coming over here. So that's why going back to our toddler that we're getting, um, that's why I'm going to dress May up really special. The doll's going to be dressed up really special. We're going to have a tea party with some of my friends coming over to be part of the blanket reveal and the tea party. Although my friends won't want to be videoed, so I'll have to work around that. But I figure, you know, because who knows how long May's going to be interested, I might as well have a really good time with this toddler that we're giving, getting in with May. So... I hope I've made sense, and I hope I haven't spun anybody around or bored anybody, so I hope this was good. Bye-bye.